Bruce, do you think that the 104th Congress has a good record on the environment? No, I don't. Not at all. I don't see them doing much of anything except letting uh, big business get away with what they want to. Um, as far as their, uh, the logging stuff going on, they're going to do it until there's no war. There's, um, there's, you know, it seems like redwood it seems to be the biggest uh, wood and the most wanted wood and the most valuable wood there is coming from California anyway. And, and as long as it's here, they're going to be people that are going to want it. And they're going to be able to, they're going to pay people to get it. Whether they pay Congress or whether they pay other big business or landowners to get at it, they're going to continue to log it until it's all gone, until we have a bunch of little toothpicks for redwood trees and a couple of other trees sitting around uh, that we go, oh, this is what they used to look like. Um, Thanks a lot, Bruce. You're welcome. Hi, what's your name? My name is Spencer Feldman. Spencer, do you think the 104th Congress has a good voting record regarding the environment? I think the Congress has already been bought and paid for, and it's a moot point. So asking that kind of question is sort of like uh, asking a cat what it would do with a mouse. Thank you very much, Spencer. Sure. Have a nice evening. Hi. What's your name? Marlene. Marlene, do you think the 104th Congress has a good record regarding the environment? No. Can I? I think that they need to stop focusing on their short-term profits and look at the long-term effect that it's going to have on the earth when their dollar signs aren't going to um, compensate for the land that we won't have to live on. Hi, this is Becky Johnson with Community Perspectives Television, Channel 72. And what's your name, ma'am? Carrie. Carrie, <laughs> do you think that the uh, 104th Congress has a good voting record on the environment? Probably not. Um, yeah, I think, uh, you know, I'm very pro-environment, and um, but I don't know much about what legislation has actually occurred recently. It's, um, you know, I just don't like it. Thanks a lot, Carrie. That was good, wasn't it? <laughs> Hi, what's your name? Joshua. Joshua, do you think the 104th Congress has a good, in good voting record regarding the environment? I think the people there have to learn to listen to the people who are praying for them to open their minds to see the light to save our environment. Thanks a lot, Joshua. You're welcome. Hi, what's your name? And I. Do you think I start that over again? Hi, what's your name? Hanno. Hanno, do you think that the hundred and fourth Congress has a good record regarding the environment? Well, actually, I'm not worried about the record as with the environment. I'm worried about the record with the people, especially the oppressed masses in the U.S. government as far as how they're handling with the health care cuts and the welfare program. So I would say that um, pollution or whatever is the second priority next to people because if there are people to enjoy the, the environment, then the environment is irrelevant. So that's how I feel. I think we need to put priority on the people first before we put on animals. I mean, I know they're part of nature, but if we can't enjoy them, then there's no purpose in there for them to live. So that's my thought as far as that goes.